Hi, it's Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make maracas using your rainbow loom. The loom is set up in the staggered configuration so that those of you who have other looms should be able to follow along as well. And I'm also going to post a separate video showing how to make this charm without any loom. So everybody will have a chance to make one. To make the maracas, you will need 37 rubber bands total. 14 in the first color, 16 in the second color, and 7 in a third. Uh, or if you want, you could split them up another way, but that's how I'm laying them out. And the first rubber band goes on where the arrow is, in the center peg. Then taking two rubber bands at a time from that center peg, you're going to pull down on the diagonal skipping this peg and going to the next one. Then in the center, and then on the other side, again, stretching down to skip a peg, like that. And then switching colors to create stripes on your maracas. on the side, center, and the other side, like that. Switching colors again, still using two rubber bands at a time. Then switching to your third color, taking two rubber bands at a time, starting in the center peg and going to the right. Slide those down, the center peg in the middle, making sure not to overlap these so that we can hook them easier later. And then the center peg up on the diagonal. So it looks like that. And now we just need to continue the length for the handle. And for that, I switch back to the second color and put them in a straight row down for a length of four. So that's the first, the second, the third. And the fourth. And then we're going to put a single band around this peg. For these bands, I'm going to wrap three times. If you have looser rubber bands, you may want to do more than that. And if you have tighter rubber bands, you may only be able to get it around two times. But for standard rainbow loom rubber bands, three gives you a nice, neat finish at the bottom. And we need to add now just the rubber bands that go across the center to keep these three rows together so that when you tug on it, it stays. And to do that, we're going to put each in a sort of triangle shape. And this first one we're actually going to double to help create the tapered edge at the bottom so it has a nice round shape. So I put that one band around twice, and now for the next two positions, I just go around a single time, and you want to match the color that's below. So like that, and I'll give you a closer look so that you can make sure yours looks like mine does before we go on. Then take your hook, and we're going to start down here where that tripled over band is, pushing with the back of our hook to get into that, and catching just the two rubber bands that go forward to the next peg. Like that. And then working our way up 
in a chain, just like you would make a basic single bracelet for the handle. And now for this position, you want to look at that stack you made, and you'll see that the two that go to the left are on top of the groups of green rubber bands here, or whatever color you used. You want to catch just those top two that go to the left and bring them around like that. And you'll know you got the right ones when you have that neat V. If you caught some of the ones on the bottom, it won't look that shape. You can put them back and try again. So now it should be the ones that, the next two on top here are the ones that go ahead to the middle peg. If you put your rubber bands on in the same order as me. And then finally we have the two left here that go up to the right like that. And now we can work our way left to right. So catching these two on the left, center, and right, making sure to get inside those cap bands that go around. Left, center, and right. And here, same, but remember we're going to take from this position, skipping these pegs and going all the way up here. So catch those on your hook and pull up the left center, and right. And we have just one rubber band remaining, which is the one that's going to hold them all together. Reach in to catch it, pull it up, but we don't want to put that one on the peg. We're actually going to take the other half off this peg and pull this side of the rubber band through the center of this to create a slip knot. Now you don't want to tug too hard on this rubber band. This rubber band could snap. It's okay if it's a little loose now. When we take it off the loom, we can tighten it. So to take it off, you want to put your hook through all those bands like that. And then take it out. And then you can tug on that to tighten it as you pull the rest off the loom with your fingers, not pulling from this rubber band. And there you have it, your single maraca. And as far as I'm concerned, you must always have two. So go ahead and go back to the beginning to make a matching set of maracas. I hope you enjoyed making this with me today. If you did, please click like below and subscribe to get notified when I post additional videos. I already have over a hundred videos posted. I have the entire alphabet if you're looking to spell out a word. And I have bracelets and I have lots of other fun charms. Tuxedo charm. The mustache charm. The ballerina party dress. To go with the maracas, you might want my music note. Or perhaps you'll want a taco plenty of fun projects. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to looming with you again soon. Bye-bye!